Hi guys, Prashant here. And uh, today I would be sharing about what you can uh, do in Facebook and create custom audiences, especially a very, very in-depth topic when it comes to creating custom audiences in Facebook, right? Custom audiences in Facebook is a feature where you can create audience of your choice. Now, when you go back to Facebook, what happens is Facebook gives you the detailed targeting where you have demographics, interest and and the and the demographics, interest and behavior, right? You can you can target these people based on the, 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 the features and and the targeting options that Facebook gives you. But Prashant, what you say sometimes is I don't want to target these people. I want to target a set of people that I create for myself. So that is where custom audiences come into picture, right? But in this in this video, I'm not going to talk about the custom audiences and all. There is a specific feature where we generally use in Google Ads where we try and capture all those people who visit our website uh, and scroll down to 25%, 55% or, or maybe 75% and 100% of our website and try and capture them in different, different lists and show them different ads. And, and you know, there is a trigger uh, uh, in Google Tag Manager. The name of the trigger is called, name of the trigger is called, uh, you know, the stole them trigger. I will, I will teach you how to create that trigger. And, uh, and tag match is a beautiful tool where you have inbuilt variables where you can use these things and create tracks and, and triggers and deploy and track additional information when people browse your website, right? So today I'm going to do this thing. See, when, keep, when people come to my site, what I'm going to do is I've installed a pixel on my site and this pixel will send information to my server and the, and the internally Facebook pixel sends is the page view. And you see the page view, this is the pixel and I'm even custom customized my Facebook pixel where I serve uh, or where I, where I, where I send a, a parameter, a referral parameter to Facebook saying that the user who came to this page is coming from uh, so and so website. If you happen to come to my site from google.com and come to my website, the Facebook will say uh, the pixel will capture the page view and also capture the referral information by tweaking the pixel code by adding a document.referral uh, snippet in the existing Facebook pixel. But here I'm going to go a little deeper and this is not for people who have a little idea about Facebook, this is for those people who have very very in-depth knowledge about the features especially the Facebook analytics and Google Tag Manager and how you're going to club both of them and try and capture people in a very very special way right so what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to uh, send a uh, send information about page view to the, the Facebook account Facebook server but on top of that what I'm going to do is I'm going to send information about the scroll depth so when people come down to my website and scroll on the website you see I've scrolled 25% of the site so you see, I've sent an event Facebook saying this person scrolled 25%. And if I, if I, if I, if I, if I continue to do that, if I scroll to like 50%, you keep watching it, you see, there, there is another scroll depth, you see, and this time it's going to be 50. And again, if I scroll down to a little further, it's going to capture to 75 and 100% too. Let's go. Let me open this pixel helper, you see. 100%, 75%, right? So the question is how I'm, how I'm sending this information to Facebook. I'm, I'm using Google Tag Manager to capture these scroll depths and create a trigger and deploy a Facebook custom event tag. To take you further, yeah. Here is my Tag Manager. So there are built-in variables. I think you all must be aware. If you're working on Tag Manager extensively, you should be aware by now. The built-in variables and the built-in variables is, you see, the scroll depth threshold, scroll depth unit and scroll direction, right? They already, and these variables capture information directly from the, uh, uh, the website, provided you install Google Tag Manager to the website. These are built-in variables. So I created one trigger here and I created one trigger specifically to track the scroll depth. You see, I have this trigger here. something wrong here one moment if I come back to triggers here you see I open something wrong right so what I'm doing is I'm clicking on this trigger scroll depth trigger Right, and when I when I create a trigger, I give the name as scroll depth trigger. I'm using this information to send the, the to analytics and Facebook. I've already done that to analytics, and this video I'm specifically going to share about how to send this information to Facebook through Pixel, right, and the custom code, custom event code, right. So scroll depth is a trigger. It's a uh, it's a built-in trigger, 
and uh, I have selected the vertical scroll depth because I have to capture those people who vertically scroll down and up. I want to capture these values 25, 50, 75, or 100. And I want this to be captured on all, all pages, right? So this is the trigger that I've created, right? And this trigger I'm, I'm going to use in the tag. You see, I'm going to tags now. I have created one specific tag for Facebook scroll depth trigger event. So I, through this tag, what I'm going to do is when that trigger happens, I want to deploy the Facebook custom tracking code. Now, this is the code that I've created, FBQ, and uh, this, this is to initiate uh, the, 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 the pixel and send information, right? And FBQ and the flower braces, you track custom, you write track custom. This is to send custom event information to Facebook. And I'm giving the name of the event. Again, it has to be in code. So I wrote scroll depth is the event. And this is how you find the information in Facebook. We will go back to Facebook and check that as well. And these are the parameters. So I, I, I put the parameters in the flower braces. You use depth, colon, and this is the value. Now, what is this? You know, this is a, a, a variable. And, and remember, this is the custom event. And the name of the event is scroll depth. And the parameters I'm passing is depth. And what values I'm going to pass with the parameter depth is in this variable. So let's come back to variable again. Let's come back to variables. If you come back to variables, there is a built-in variable. I showed you, right? There's a built-in variable. And that built-in variable actually capture the values. You know, it captures. It's a built-in variable. It's a built data variable, a data layer variable. It will capture the values. And what values it will capture, that is what I specified in the trigger. You see, 25. 50, 75, 100. So this is the trigger and I'm saying I want to capture 25, 50, 75, 100. And how is it going to capture? Through the trigger. And where they will be captured in a variable called scroll depth threshold. And I'm using that variable in this tag. Because I don't want to create, to create one tag and deploy each tag for 25%, 50%. I have to recreate the same uh, uh, code four times or the same tag four times. And why would I do that? And every time I have to do that, I have to give a different name. So rather than that, I'm, I'm putting all of them into, into one, one, one same code and I'm calling them dynamically through this variable. And I showed you this variable holds the value. And what values? What I have specified in the trigger. Right? So this is it. I have put them and it's already uh, there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my site. Go to my site. Let, let, let's go to maybe shop page. Now, when you go to shop page, the first thing that Facebook does does is it sends page view to server Facebook server through the pixel that is installed. taking too long to load I'm sorry you see page view now if you see it's in preview mode right now scroll depth event was triggered you see scroll depth event was triggered see this event And uh, if, you, if you see the variables, the variables will have the threshold as 25%. Right? So what I'm doing is, I did not scroll the page yet. This is scroll 25%. The same value is captured here. And this depth is 25 because back in custom tracking code, I specified this value to be dynamically inserted through the variable, which is scroll the threshold. And this data layer variable was used when I created the trigger or the code, sorry, the custom code, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll further down. You see the five, you see, five. it says 50. Now when you come back, it says 75. Now let's come back to analytics. Now when you come back to analytics, what happens is Okay, so now, now the main picture here. Huh? So what I'm going to do is I have the pixel. I have the pixel. I know the pixels. This is the testing pixel. Now when I select the pixel, it is asking me what? 
this 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 option. So I said to the pixel. No, it's asking me website visitors. So I said no. I want to capture those people who perform this event. And what event we passed? Custom event scroll depth. When I click on this, it's asking me the past 30 days. That that's up to you how you want to put them in a funnel. Again, I'm saying, saying URL parameter because scroll depth is an event, and I'm passing a parameter, and that parameter is you see depth. That is what we were passing here, correct? Right? And I say less than or equals to 25. So this bucket will hold only those people who come to my website and scroll 25% or less. So that way I'm going to create one more custom audience of people who came and scrolled to less than or equal to 50%. Less than or equal to 75. Like, like that I'm going to create four buckets. And when I create those four audiences, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one campaign and one ad set. The first ad set will target those people who scroll to 25% with a different message. And the second ad set will target those people who scroll to 50%, the different message, and I will target that second custom audiences. But for the second custom audiences, I will put exclude the first custom audiences, which is people who scroll up to 25%. So this way, what I can do, when people come to my 25% or scroll to 25%, I can show them one ad. When people come and scroll 50%, maybe I can show some ad. So this is just an example, however you want to use them, how creative you can get, that's up to you again, right? So th th this is this is one good, uh, you know, way, this is one good way. And and I will show you one interesting point as well. So this is how you create the buckets and give the name of the uh, audiences. Now we come back to audience uh, analytics, you see, there's an event flow in, flow in analytics, you see. I was just trying to figure out how analytics is going to help me. And the analytics also, I'm, I'm sending the events whenever people scroll down 25%, 50%, I'm sending an event to analytics and asking them to capture it as scroll, scroll event. And the action would be the percentage of the, the scroll the threshold, right? So I, I just, uh, you know, went to events flow in analytics back in the event section in the in the behavior part, right? I can come here. You know, 10 people came, out of the 7 people proceeded to 25% and 3 people went to add to cart. Right, ten people direct people directly they came and clicked on add to cart, but some people scroll twenty five percent. Now when you come back here, twenty five percent, you see twenty five percent seven seven people, right? Four people ended up to fifty percent, and out of those uh, uh, three people who or, or the other people, one person came to add to cart and two people left. And from this list, people seventy five or uh, three people went to scroll seventy five, right? And from this again, two people scroll to hundred percent, and one person again go back to again go back to the other part. So, so what I, what I can do is maybe I can capture those people in one bucket who came to 25% but did not add to cart. I can show them one message. I can capture those people who came to 75% but did not add to cart. Right? I, 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 I can play however I want. I can get as creative as I, like, as I can. And all of this are working together through a tag manager, inbuilt variable and tag manager. So I'm passing this information through a custom event feature in Facebook and sending them to Facebook. And in the Facebook audience part, I'm using this pixel with the parameters and the event name. And I'm giving my condition that, that I want those people to scroll up to 25, less than equal to 50% and all these things. Now you come back, you see all those events were uh, shared. So if I come back to event debugging, so already if I come back to event debugging, you see, you see, right. And at this time, at this time, 258, I don't know what time it is. Yeah, uh, what, what time it is? I did not refresh it actually. So give me one moment, let me refresh. Yeah, here you go. So the event debugging, now you will come to event debugging, event debugging. At this time, scroll up event was triggered. The referral domain, how, how, how is coming? Because I, I customized the pixel code, as I said. And the current URL was so and so shop page and the depth and the depth of 5%. You see, 50%. And this is what I'm sending through the pixel and the custom event code and passing them to Facebook. And, and in Facebook, I'm creating audiences based on how they engage with my site. So this way you can get creative and uh, you know if you have any any other ideas as to how we can customize and tweak and how you can be uh, more creative you can absolutely share with me i'd love to hear from you and uh, thank you so much we would share a lot of exciting content in-depth content on this channel and uh, that is specifically taught in bootcamp and, and bootcamp is a place where you learn these things 
and and we expect all those people to 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 do these things by the time they finish the boot camp and they're not just learning about campaigns i i believe that anybody can create a campaign right that that is that is not a million other people would do that that's not important what is important is how you can be as creative and and, and try and come up with ways which are like wow right and uh, we'd appreciate if you can go down to our channel and subscribe to our channel and watch other videos that are really in depth you'll get to know about how we work and and, and how we train thank you so much and, and just stay connected thank you